All right, Mr. Crack, everyone, and welcome along to the final round of the PepsiCo Open of Fisher's Island Club, uh, playing this in the Champions Tour Society. Um, this is going on for not much longer. There's only just myself and Ian Miller have both played now at the moment, and as you see, doing fairly well, 40 under through three. Um, I didn't actually realise, uh, of, well, obviously, I know it's a, an RCR with it having LiDAR at the end, but uh, I'd never actually heard of this course, and so I just uh, thought I'd look it up there on, on uh, Google, just Wikipedia, just before starting. And uh, it says the Fishers Island Club is a country club located near the eastern end of Fishers Island in New York. The club includes an 18-hole golf course designed by Seth Raynor that was uh, ranked ninth in the 2009 Golf Golf Digest list of America's 100 greatest golf courses. Uh, it was established in 1926 and. Its length is 6,616 yards. Now, in game, it's uh, it's down to 6,620 6, yards. So it's, it's a fairly short course, but it's a lovely little course, actually. Um, so what have we got, anyway, for the fourth and final round? Hopefully the conditions aren't too bad. Fairways are going to be soft. Greens firm, green speed fast, and wind speed medium. So pretty, pretty similar conditions throughout all four rounds. Um, playing off the blue tees, which are the tips, and pin set four. That's why we start off. I will apologise as well. This is a bit of a scramble video. Um, <clears throat> it's actually just currently. I'll just check it now. It's currently just after 8:30 p.m. for me uh, on Sunday, the 9th of February. Um, which, if you're watching this later on tomorrow, it's, it's yesterday or whatever. Uh, but this is not the original video that was supposed to be up tonight. As I had already recorded the video a few days ago, so I do. I kind of record them about three, four days in advance, and then it just gives me a little bit more breathing space to um, to edit, render, and get them uploaded, and have them scheduled then to publish. And I'd gotten the San Antonio TPC San Antonio video done. I got the Manhunt video done, and I got then the original video uh, for this for this week's society event done, and. I'd obviously gotten the others edited and rendered and all that sort of stuff and uploaded. Uh, what have we got there? 10 mile per hour, 96. Okay, we'll go with a full on one of my, maybe a touch of D left. A mm, little bit of a pull on that. But I hadn't gotten around to doing the Society event video. Oh, I didn't need the D left. Alright, not to worry. And what I hadn't done for a while was I hadn't cleared out the. Uh, all the videos and um, everything in the capture gallery on the PS4 and I went and deleted the unedited video so this is a bit of a scramble turn 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 or don't turn uh, yeah this is a bit of a scramble to get this one done because say like it's just coming up it's just about 8 30 p.m. now the original video should have been up on the channel about about an hour and a half ago but uh, if you did catch the manhunt video, I did mention in that that I've been, my head's been like mush throughout the whole week now, just uh, fighting off a bit of a cold. Well, uh, not too bad now at the moment. Hopefully I don't jinx myself with that now and start getting that tickly cough back again. Mm, maybe not that much day left. Mm, yeah, it's tracking pretty well. Just hopefully. The loft wasn't a mistake. Ooh, come on, sit down. Sit, 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 sit. It's going to be the curse of the commentator now, I think, isn't it? <laughs> Actually, I was a 15, 12, and then 13 under. And I'm probably going to do absolute shite now in this round because I'm commentating. Uh, just have a little look at that. Yeah, it's a little bit of a double break. I think it wants to play pretty straight, actually. I should start turning them back. Ooh, just outside the right edge. But yeah, it's a nice little course, I have to say. I actually enjoy playing this one. There's a couple of the par fives. I'll actually, I'll just really quickly, I will go into the scorecard. And just show you there on the distances. Uh, so you see blue tees, par fives, where are we? So we've got, yeah, the eight hole there, par five, 459 yards. And then... The other one is the 18th, which is 447 yards. So that's basically they're playing like par fours, average, average sort of length par fours. Um, but it is, it's only, it's only a short little course, but it's a lovely little, lovely little one. And uh, fair play to Phil for picking this one out. 
Oh, that's me about to start talking as I was taking the swing. I was going to say I'm not going to reach the green in one this time. I did in the previous round. The wind wasn't a favour, but it should be just a little flop shot on now. 39. Alright, I'm going to go 36. Well, it's playing about 41. It's maybe a little on the D left. Oh, sit, sit, sit. That will do nicely. We should hopefully pick up a birdie here. Pretty straightforward. I was thinking there's turning a little bit too much, but no, it's it's perfectly fine. Into the cup she goes. Right, one under through three. So we get onto the fourth, which is stroke index at eight, and yeah, we should be fine with the driver here. Ooh, maybe not. The wind is angling that way, and I'm just after pulling it. Ah, no, we're okay. Didn't go too far across, but one thing with the course is the uh, the light rough is actually quite generous in a lot of places on the course. It's fairly, as you can see there, it's uh, actually I don't think there is. Yeah, there is bits of heavy rough, but as you can see, it's very generous uh, light rough all around the course, around the edges of the fairway and stuff. Uh, so unless you hit a really, really bad, terrible shot, you shouldn't be in too much trouble if you do miss the fairway or the green. Uh, but we've got 119, and I'm playing about 116, 1, I mean 127-ish. So I think that is going to be a near fully lofted, not completely. Near fully lofted pitching wedge, hopefully. A mm, little bit push on that. See how it looks though. That is not bad at all. That looks like it's only about six to eight feet. Seven, right in the middle. Should be just a straightforward right edge. And she goes. Alright, move it to two under. So it's really just a case of is this gonna be the worst or the best round? <laughs> Usually when commentating, that's when uh that's when things like to go wrong, but we've got par f uh, I was about to say par 5, it's a whole 5, par, uh, par 3, stroke index of 2, get the numbers right Stephen, get the numbers right, uh, 243 yards, going to be playing about 248 with that wind, right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop the loft up on the 2 wood, and I think I'll keep it sh mm, just a little touch to the right, a little bit of push on it, but the wind is taking it back slowly, I'm just hoping now that slope it behind the pin, that it can catch that, and just trickle its way back down. Come on, die there, die there. Nah, it's a bit too much. Just up onto the fringe. All right, and I want to chip or put. I think I'll just chip it. Just a little chip. And um, one thing I keep forgetting to do with me nine yards and less chips. I keep forgetting to loft up the uh, loft up the club. As we fully loft the lob wedge, it should only carry no more than six yards, and then just get a nice little hop and just check up about the seven. Depending on if you've got very fair and very fast greens, it might make it to about eight. Depending on the slope, maybe nine. But anyway, hole number six, par five. I think I said 546 yards there. Should be more than should be more than reachable anyway. But then again, maybe with, not with the wind. Although it was actually yeah, should be. I was actually uh, more than reachable earlier on uh, in the previous round. I was only taking five iron. I think it was, and I got a great shot off the tee. Wind was favourable though, uh, but we got two forty two in. Mm, wind is it's more on a crosswind, so I think yeah, we'll go. What's the green slope and like? So i right to left. Let's squeeze back a little bit. So I think what we'll do, we'll just push this right out. It's trying to angle a little bit more. We'll just give that a fast downswing. I should give it an extra few yards. It's coming around pretty nice by the looks of things. Greens are firm and fast, so good roll out of it. And that will do nicely for an eagle shot. Green line, maybe. Come on, turn. 
There we go. I will take the eagle all day. <laughs> Straightforward little pup. Which is going to bring us to 4 under through 6. Serie up hole number 7, par 4, stroke index 10, 367. So I'd say just pop it out here over the edge of the water. Out there should be fine. Give it the fast, and that should leave us with no more than just a short pitch in. Some nice views all around this course. Uh, I don't know. I, unfortunately, I don't know the designer's name. Um, I should have had a look actually before starting to record, just to just so I could get it and let you know who it was. But uh, did a great job at the course. I know it's a light air, so obviously it was done on PC. Uh, I've got 38. Gonna be playing what 41. I think I'll deal off that a little bit. Oh, that's gonna fly. Oh, maybe not. Oh, I got a good roll up. That's that fast downswing. Alright, uh, let me see. I'll give that about just over half out. Should hold that line. Very nice pull. Here we go. Just hear a bit of a storm Kira building back up again outside the house. Been battering the front of my house all day and uh, through last night. It's actually some of the strongest winds that we've had for a while. For uh, a quote unquote storm. <laughs> I'm always laughing and joking, saying, yeah, it's just it's a bit of gale force wind, like give it a rest. But uh, there was actually, I saw on Facebook earlier on this afternoon. There was a, a British Airways transatlant transatlantic flight heading for, I think it was London Heathrow, it said. And uh, they they got a nice little push along with the wind. I think they, knocked, they it said they knocked something like two hours off the flight. They were reaching speeds of about 800 miles per hour. So uh, I'd, say that, I'd say that was a nice fun flight for any nervous flyers who were on there. To be heading along at that sort of speed. Do I want full? Yeah, go on, go full. But I was actually as well earlier on this afternoon, I was heading over to the shops with the little fella. And uh, he's absolutely, he's obsessed with planes. So anytime you see a plane, say, oh look, there's a plane up there. And uh, he's, he just absolutely loves them. And I, I live not too far from Dublin Airport. And, oh no, be careful of this grid line that I'm sitting on. But otherwise it should be pretty much just the right edge. Ooh, no, and I slightly pushed that, so it, there was a little bit more break there, I wasn't careful. And it was an eagle put as well, shit. But, uh, yeah, we were walking, I say, I live not too far from Dublin Airport. And the, the flight paths, as you're walking from my house to the shops, um, you can see the planes coming from left to right or right to left, depending on which way they're taking off and landing uh, at that particular time. And there was a uh, American Airlines actually coming in. And I said to him, I said, oh, look, there's, there, look at the big airplane there, look at the big airplane. And then, and then I looked at it and I said, hold on a second. Oh, sorry about that, I forgot to zoom after the ball there. A bit too late on that. But, yeah, I started looking at it and I was like, hold on a second, he's at a bit of a wrong angle to be landing. And uh, then I just saw the wheels going back in. He just said, ah, fuck this. <laughs> They're not landing in that wind. They just aborted that. I've, I know he headed off. It looked like he was going to circle around, but I never saw him again. Um... But about 10 minutes later then there was a Ryanair flight coming in. And they were just like, nah, fuck that, we're landing this thing. <laughs> they came in, cruised in, not about it. And that just reminded me of... Uh... Oh, I got a fast on the downswing again. <coughs> it reminded me of a few years ago, a mate of mine. Himself, his missus and, uh, and a group of them were coming back. from holiday over in uh, I think it was Spain or something like that. Spain or Portugal or something like that and uh, he was saying they were they were taxiing around they were taxiing along towards the runway and the uh, and the captain came over the the intercom it was really really bad weather apparently over there he said uh, you could barely see your hand in front of your face it was extremely unnaturally foggy misty whatever 
and let's say we're flying with Ryanair. And Captain comes over to the intercom and said, uh, in his, the usual sort of Captain voice, attention ladies and gentlemen, this is your Captain speaking and all that. And he said, a number of uh, number of airlines, a number of flights ahead of us have already decided to uh, cancel and hold off. They're not, not willing to take the chance of flying in, in this current weather, but we're going to go for it anyway. <laughs> and he, I just remember him saying that just everybody in the plane just looked around and said, uh, I'm sorry, what? we're gonna go for it are we yeah and, and <laughs> do we get a choice in this matter but uh yeah that's right there they don't give a shit they'll get you from a to b 82 83 um i'm yapping on now i'm yapping on i, uh, I think I, I don't like doing pitch shots with the with the irons but i'll loft this up shit pull that come on wind help it out a little bit Oh, it's crept it onto the fringe. I hate doing pitch shots with the irons. I just can never get them right. But should we have to put this anyway? It looks like it might be just about green line. Go on, go on, go on. Ah, come on. Well, not doing too bad anyway. Seven under through ten. Could be a little bit better, but I'm yapping away. But just talking about Ryanair there. I mean, I'm, I. I've flown with them numerous times, and the amount of complaints that people get, I've, I've never once had a problem with them, never once had a problem. These, these, are, these are people, you know, they get one slightly bad experience, maybe some turbulence on a flight or something like that, or, or whatever it is, and uh, yeah, they're the shittest airline in the world kind of thing, but uh, I've never had a problem, they've been... Always a great airline whenever I've flown with them. And if uh, I know I've seen I've, I know I've seen some in the past where people have been saying, "Oh, the cabin crews and all that they were pig ignorant or whatever." Well, I tell you one thing: if you were ever turn, mm, nope, <laughs> just missed it. If you're ever on a a flight, a turnaround flight. That has just come from a beta or something like that, you know, a, a nice party atmosphere, and they're doing another flight back over to whatever. I, I'd say, yeah, if it's the same cabin crew, they're gonna be a little bit stressed out because there's, there's some mad flights there. Sure, so those of you who've been to a beta maybe will be more than more than aware of what them flights can be like. Right, come on, let's concentrate for these final seven holes, or, well, six and a half holes now at this rate. Uh, 86, so I'm playing about, what, 91, call it 90, I'll call it, yeah, I'll call it 91. The wind, alright, I'm going to, with that wind, I'll crank the loft right up on that. Come on. Come on, wind. Come on. Bring it back. Bring it back in. That's a beautiful shot. Beautiful shot. Alright, we should get a birdie here, I hope. There we go. Right, eight under. Six to play. <coughs> so, potential. Potential for 14 under. And, yeah, actually, I think we still have two, is it two par fives to go? I know the 18th is a par five, but, uh, yeah, I think it's the next one is a par five as well. This is going to, ooh, now, wind is favourable, wind is uh, in behind here. I think, will it go down here? We'll try the two wood down here. It's been the first of the four rounds I've gone down the right side, but. Should be alright. It does sort of run back uphill a little bit then before the rough, so should be okay. The speed are up. And it looks like it's going to be a pretty good lie as well, actually. Uh, yeah, slightly above the feet, not too bad. And there's one of the cats outside the door again. Waits until I'm recording. Little ball bag. Uh, 106. I'm going to put a bow there on the loft. I'd say it should be ground at that wind. Very slight bit of a push, it's just taking it around the extra bit on me. Oh, that's not bad, that is not bad. 
take it. Eight feet, it's inside ten, so should be just outside. Yeah, it should be about just there. Yeah, I'm sure. I I overhit that. I just I genuinely just overhit that. Ah, <laughs> uh, was stupid. You gob <laughs> Right. Okay. Enough messing around now. Oh, I thought that was gonna just run the left edge again there. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, come on. We got five to play. Five to play. We can certainly get double digits anyway. Um. All right, so second round is the only round I was able to carry it over to there. I don't trust the driver to not still run out. It's a decent tee shot. Now I know I don't do flyovers and stuff like that in uh, in my videos, but uh, I hope you're getting a decent look at the course. I do I do suggest if you like if you want just a, a nice relaxed little uh, round of golf, definitely go and check this now. Fisher's Island Club. It's a great course. Uh, 158. Going to play about 159. I'll maybe just put a little bit of loft on that. That's uh, not too bad of a swing. Slight pull on it. It's just over the left of the swing plane, but it's not going too far left. And oh, came up a bit shy. Came up a little bit shy. It's one thing I hate about the eight iron. Yeah, it's a bit. It can be unpredictable sometimes when you start adding loft or taking loft off, de lofting it. Sometimes it'll. Oh, that's a nice pull. Sometimes it'll come up short. Sometimes it'll go long. It'll carry even longer than if you didn't add in, uh, add or take off any loft. Just one of those, uh, one of those clubs for some reason. Oh, here we are. Anyway, fifteenth hole, par five. I think I said five thirty-seven to playing five thirty-seven. Don't know what it is to the pin. And again, I'm not running after the ball. Get after. <laughs> Yeah, I must try this course now. Actually, not too, not too soon after after this video, but uh, maybe in a month or two, a couple of months, maybe for the uh, the true sim challenge. See how it plays. Uh, two twenty seven. We're gonna be playing two thirty two. That wind. That's looking favourable for a fully lofted five wood. There's the pop to the right, and wind will take it the rest of the way, hopefully. Come on, come on. No, oh, that's nice. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Go on. Settle down any time you want now. That is beautiful. What's that? Six feet? No more. Four foot. It was mine to screw up. <laughs> Put in for the eagle. Nice. All right, that takes us. What are we actually at now? I've no idea. We're at eleven under with three to play. All right. So hole sixteen, stock index of five, par three, hundred and forty-five yard. Well, playing one forty-nine, one forty-four to the pin. With that wind, mm, don't feel confident with a pitch wedge. So, so we'll go up there. Maybe just a couple more touches. Uh, that's a nice swing. That's not bad at all. It's tracking around nicely. Ooh, still a little long. I could have gone full left, but it's not bad. It looks like it's. Shut up, you. Uh, <laughs> only about yeah. I was gonna say about ten feet, but it's at eleven anyway. That's him outside the door. I'm yawning away now. He's distracting me. You can wait five minutes. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that, but he's now he's now scratching the door to get in. Uh, let me just put that marker back. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I think this is gonna play definitely green line, but I don't know. I think I might want to go out just a little extra. Come on, turn, turn, turn. Bear with me. Just a, just let me let this little fart in, as he's putting me off now. Get in. Get up, come on, out of your way. <laughs> you noisy little shit. Right, get up on the couch, get up. Come on, up and sit down. 
don't mind me. <laughs> As you can gather, I do uh, I do talk to the cats. All right, in we go. So that was a par. Thank you. <laughs> Little ball bag, scratching away at the door. That's two videos in a row now. I think he's done that. And it's not usually him as well. It's usually I've got three cats. It's usually one of the others, one of the other two that does be a. Uh, Ah, shit, pulled it. I got it fast. That does be a... Yeah, it's usually one of the other two. That does be going mad, or he gets a bit hyper whenever I start recording, just charging up and down. You can hear him thundering around the house. But now, uh, this fella wanted in. He wanted to know what I was doing. He could hear me talking. He's like, what's he up to in there? Anyway, 89, roughly, is what that's going to play. That way and say, all right. That is definitely going to be about there. Say about there. Should sit quick if it does still go a little bit long. Uh, well, I don't think it'll go long enough to catch that slope behind the pin and then come back. That's about sitting slightly above the feet. But hopefully this should be alright. Not too bad of a swing. It's tracking. Come on, sit, sit. Oh, nicely done. All right, those six to eight feet. Eight it is, and should be just about here, hopefully. There we go. So what's that, 12 under now, I think. So here is very, very short par five. 445 yards to the pin. I'm playing about, what, 447. Uh, now this fella is jumping up and around behind me. Would you bugger off, would you? Do you want to be in the video? Hmm? <laughs> you can sit me lap in a few minutes. Sorry, I, I, again, as I said, I do. I talk to the cats. <laughs> I don't know if that's a sign of insanity, or is it when I start hearing them talking back to me in my head? <laughs> Excuse me. I know to say when you start answering your own questions in your head, it's a sign of a sign. Uh, a few cogs are coming loose, but I don't know if you about if you talk to your cats. Uh, one forty-eight in anyway to this final hall, final green. Uh, it's going to be playing what one fifty-two. All right, we're going to play eight iron. A little bit of loft on it. Now, typically this will be one of the times that it wants to come up fucking short. Is that coming around too far? It's coming in night. Oh, oh. What a beautiful approach in. And that is 8 inch tap in for the Eagle on the 18th at Fisher's Island Club. That was a beautiful shot. I'll tell you what, we'll have a little look at that again, but we'll just we'll follow the ball from behind. Actually, I just want to see exactly because. Just, just exactly what way that was tracking itself in. Let's just get behind. All right, let's follow it. That was a beautiful shot. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Any other day that would have gone in. That was a beautiful shot. Almost, like, I mean, obviously, like, I mean, it's only a 447-yard par 4. Like, it's a average, or par 5, sorry. It's only an average PGA course like par four because our distance like, but uh, would it be nice to finish off with with a, an albatross there on that one? Just uh, another day that would have gone in, but 54 under total anyway. Onto the scorecard we go, solid scorecard, seven under on both front and back nine, and not actually my weakest hole. Uh, bear with me, actually. Let's just go back out real quick. Before we wrap up, we just see all four, uh, all four rounds. So I'm the only one to have finished all four rounds now at the moment, but there is a, a day or so left in this. So no, it's the second round was actually me was actually my weakest round, but uh, yeah, just going up by a shot there. So yeah, down 15, down 12, 13, 14, 54 under total. But very very nice course, honestly. Uh, I will definitely have to give that a go in the in the true sim challenge at some stage, a couple of months down the road. 
but anyway that has been for now for this video that has been the PepsiCo Open final round of Fishers, Fishers Island Club I hope you did enjoy and if you did make it this far in the video thanks very much for watching and I shall talk to you all next Friday for the next True Sim Challenge and I have a cracker of a course it's not an RCR it is uh, going to be the first fantasy course making an appearance in that series uh, so that'll be next Friday this coming Friday um, until then take care have yourself a good one and bye for now